was the following year, 1959. Where did you I, do that? At Empire Stadium, I ran 21.9 for the 220, which broke Percy's, you know, long time standing 220 yard record. That had to be one of the, the big times of your whole career. Oh yes, definitely, because Percy Williams, and still is, you know, probably the best competitive sprinter we've had ever in Canada. He was the fellow that ended up winning two gold medals in the 1928 Olympics. And after competing in the, for the high school in 1959, I was offered several opportunities in the United States, and I ended up at the University of Oregon in Eugene, Oregon. Why? Well, why Oregon? Well, there's a number of other Canadians that had either attended or were attending the university at the time. Don Steen, his brother, went down the same year. Dave Steen, the shot putter. Vic Reeves, Sig Olman from King Ed. And it, it had a healthy attitude towards Canadians. And, that was, and it wasn't that far from home. Plus, Bill Barman uh, is known as a great coach. Yeah. And so we had a, a good, it was, as far as I was concerned personally, a good environment towards Canadians and also it was a competitive um, track and field program. It was a, <laughs> let's say, a different year in terms of how it finished. I, in the semifinal in Rome, 100 meters, I ended up with a hamstring pull. So I didn't get past the semifinals and into the 100 meter final to have a chance to run against Armand Hari, who ended up being, of course, the, the gold medalist. Well, that was a great disappointment. Um, yes, at the time it was disappointing, but uh, you know that was really my, only my third year involved in the sport, so I didn't have that many years, and it wasn't sort of like I was a, uh, just at the end of my career. There was years to look forward to. Oh, we've got some tremendous talent in this country in terms of looking at it from a competitive point of view, and at the same time, I just see the number of joggers and people out there participating. I think it's it's very healthy.